this is pretty much my bread and butter. This is all I really know how to do. This is all I know what I'm good at. This is what's gonna make me get to where I need to be to make my family in a better place. So be it. I guess it's on your blood. I was fighting and your uncle Kulimi was fighting. So I was, I was surprised that you actually wanted to fight because you never really showed interest in it when you were younger and then all of a sudden it was just all you, all you wanted to do was fight. It wasn't mm -hmm. until you were 21st that I realised how, how many fights you'd been in that weren't in the ring. <laughs> so I guess I guess you were kind of born you were kind of born and bred into it. Do you find it hard? Do you find it different training with Cora now that you've got Cora and and Tisha? I mean, you obviously when you didn't have them in your training, you're really selfish with your time. Yeah. You had to be. But now that you've got a partner and a baby, it's kind of, you can't just make those decisions. You can't just be selfish. All your plans have to be based around him. Yeah, I don't know. It's just, I haven't really thought about it. I kind of kept doing what I had to do, but still being able to try to stay, be present for, the, for them. Yeah. I f like, it's just, a, it's like a fix for me. Just to be able to just, to, do the right thing for them. And I knew it wasn't going to be an easy road to take having a fight two weeks out of my daughter's birth. Mm. Yes, it was a little bit extra pressure and stress. Yeah. I think that's what everyone was kind of wondering why you took a fight mm. when Cora was so, so close. I think because of the how you, like, it is a selfish sport. And they were just wondering, I think everyone was just worried about how you were going to deal with training and fighting and getting your mind right yeah. and on top of that having a pregnant girlfriend and then the due date being so close to your fight. Like ever since having Cora, I'm like, well, people are just like, why is he still fighting? I don't know. Mm. Why is he, why is he still doing it when he's got a daughter? But I feel like if you focus on yourself and God, that everything will come right. And it would be selfish of me if I didn't take this this road that I'm on, this journey that I'm on. But I'm the best version of myself when I'm training and and fighting. I want to get the best version for her. The goal is to go professional. I've got a dream to pay off every, everyone in my family's bills and all the men in my family to get them a nice truck. Now that I have my daughter, it's just made it so much easier just to get up and go and do what I have to do just to provide for my family. It's gonna take me time, it's gonna take me ages and I know somewhere down the track I'm Adversity is going to come and find me and bite me in the ass, but I know why I started this and I made a plan with God. And um, I'm, I'm ready for what comes. One more to go. Now you fucking just leave it all in the ring now. Last round. Start strong, finish strong. Let's go. Last round. So it's been about maybe nearly just on two years with Bailey. So, so he's he's progressed a lot. Like he was a he was basically a boxer. Now he's more of a um, a well-rounded kickboxer with heavy power. You're going to see that on Friday. It's either going to be a stoppage or it's going to be a unanimous decision. But I've got a good feeling about Bailey in front of his family. He always performs.
feeling? Good guy. If I lose this fight, I'm still going to be happy. And that's rare for me because I'm, I'm always scared to lose. I've always been scared to lose. But I'm content with what I have right now. Touch your winner on the night. It's your world. Probably his number one fan, um, his mum will tell you. But I'd, she thinks that I'm living vicariously through him uh, with a lot of the stuff that he's doing. But I, I just, I like the way who Bailey is as a person when he's training and fighting. When he's not doing any of that stuff, he's he's a little bit of a prick, and she, <laughs> only because he's just he really gets down on himself. Whereas when he's training and not so much fighting, just training. That he's really happy and he's kind of outgoing, but as soon as he's not, he kind of gets down on himself and doubts himself a lot. So yeah, that's that. I just want him just to keep training. The fighting is kind of. I'm happy that he's doing it because it's something that I like as well, and it's something that we can enjoy together. But um, it's secondary to me, really. It's just mainly about you being right. Yeah. So I have a time to go to the house, I have a time to go to the house, I I can never dog at my brother, I'm too loyal We came up from nothing together and so we roll you I only move with kings and I swear that when I make it We gon' make it and if the money good then we gon' take it So my brothers went from sleeping on them floors To them corners knocking doors to the bottom Making jobs for your lawyer, that's a few stacks